So this is like the first time I see weather. So I thought I would do a quick video on Riders Republic for the PS5 showing you something that is not daytime and dry. It's not light and dry, it's dark and wet. And that sounded dirty, but you know what I mean. Oh boy. That's interesting. Why do I keep hitting the brakes? This bike is not meant for tricks, but that's okay. This sure beats that Paris Grand Tour, whatever the hell that other biking game is. It looks terrible. This game kicks the shit out of it. So we're dodging cops. I've done that before. A lot of these races, I'm always second place. That's right, that's what you get, bastard. Watch me hit like a boulder. Get abducted by aliens. Wow, this is actually really cool. This is a very unique race. And I'm barely halfway through. We'll just take it easy. There's no need to do any fancy tricks. Just try and focus. I'm not even going to bother using my sprint. Knowing me, I'll end up through the windshield. And in handcuffs. I like how the arrows are very well... <laughs> are nicely lit up. Along with the checkpoints. Oh, is there like a zombie apocalypse or an avalanche or what? I don't even know what, like, the theme is for this race. I know Halloween's coming up. This definitely feels Halloween-ish. Oh, wow, I could have gotten six stars by finishing it under... Oh, wow, I would have had to finish, like, 17 seconds sooner? Fuck that. Someone was using a 455 bike, and I still whooped their ass. What do I get? I hate these bikes. Even in real life, I was actually just talking to somebody a month ago about these terrible, terrible bikes. I can't stand them. Oh, new events unlocked. I gotta figure out how to get the rocket bike. It drives me absolutely insane that I've been looking it up. There's been a few people that have been clickbaiting it. This one right here. Force gear, the funkies. Just no idea how to get it. All right, give me a second and I'll be back when I start another race. Just some random gameplay. I don't even know what the hell I was in the middle of doing. Of Riders Republic. I think this is my first video since the game has officially launched. So no longer in beta. Nice. Talk about starting off strong as I ram into the fucking fence. Yeah, so, <clears throat> again, very happy I got the game. Disappointed by a few minor details in terms of the Zen mode. I was kind of hoping there'd be a separate, not so much progression system, but a way to at least use what you've rightfully unlocked. But, I plan on being online, for the most part, as this is predominantly what this game is supposed to be about. We're even lucky we get to do anything. Imagine if, like, World of Warcraft or a game like that allowed you to play offline where you could still roam the world and, you know, have a good time. <laughs> that would be something. Holy hot sauce, look at that. Not even really trying here. Remember, when I play video games, 
incredibly distracting. Especially for the likes of a game like this, you'd be surprised how much better I do. When I'm not talking and I'm focusing. <clears throat> but the point of these videos have never been to show off and try to play very well. It's just to simply showcase the game. Is it stuttering? Is there screen tearing? Am I getting disconnected every five minutes? <clears throat> or can I even connect at all? A lot of games that have a live service that are online their first couple of days, weeks, are sometimes absolute garbage. And right now, we're off to a good start. My game and all the hours I've been playing has only crashed once. And I don't think I've actually technically been disconnected. Although crashing you're being technically disconnected. But, you know, <clears throat> let's not get too technical. So the races as a whole, I'm just really, really enjoying a lot. It's just so much fun. I think, for real, this is going to, would just stop moving like that is really going to be part of my rotate <clears throat> excuse me part of my rotation for games i struggle to find the time to be able to do casual gameplay you know playthroughs or whatever you want to call them like episode series of like american truck simulator skater xl sports games like fifa hockey and nba there's just too many goddamn games to play there's only so many hours in a day, and I do other things than just sitting around <clears throat> doing YouTube all day. So that's been a struggle, because, like I've said before, when people think of me, and you go, oh, what main game would you say, you know, this guy reminds you? Well, you know, some Skater XL, and some World of Warcraft, and there's like a little bit of everything. I want it to be sport. Oh, and then at one time it was Call of Duty. Now it's like, eh, you know, not right, so much, and... <clears throat> Meet with the Shack Daddy band. Oh, now that looks cool. Look at that bike. Force gear funkies. <laughs> Get a new funky there. Let's check that out. Oh, oh, snap -aroni. I wasn't expecting that. There we go. Wow, how do you like that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I almost fell. That would have been <clears throat> semi funny. Where am I going? So yeah, the versus thing. Oh, by the way, the thing that's interesting that I did not know, I thought this was locked for uh, the beta trial weekend that I did. I never even really read it. It was just like, ah, versus, it's the whole online thing. Solo is just that, solo versus the AI. So the way the game actually works is versus real people is actually just group members in a friendly or not so friendly competition. You have to invite people to a group. So you can't just like, there's no, like, matchmaking, is my point. So everything is solo versus the AI. I actually didn't know that's how that was going to be, which is kind of interesting when you think about the fact that this game... Watch. See? Look, I paused it. See what I mean? Even though, like, those are, like, real sort of kind of looking names. Oh, you can do tricks with it. Holy macaroni and cheese. That was terrible. <clears throat> Yeah, I think this one, it's just about the speed. Really cool bike, though. I saw someone free roaming with one of these earlier. Uh-oh. This will... This will mess you up when you do what I just did. Really not a good look. I'm trying to be too fancy for the camera. Which is... God-awful. You don't want to do that. You just want to get through the shit. So yeah, the game is essentially a single-player game being played against the AI. Even more so will it now beg the question of why is this game online? Now, when you're free-roaming around the world, everybody you see is a real person. But when it comes down to the nitty-gritty, when it comes down to actually racing... You're not racing other people. I think that's a little bit 
messed up. But I think that's like Forza Horizon. I don't honestly remember. I've played a lot of Forza Horizon, and what's sad is I don't even know if the people I raced against were real people or not. But then again, you can also play that game offline without an internet connection. This game, you cannot. I mean, you can, but there's essentially no progress. I mean, there's no gear. Sorry, I can't even talk properly when I'm in the middle of a race. Really? I missed a checkpoint? Fuck you, then. Well, that'll... That'll set you back some. Some of the races I really struggle with, especially controlling the flying ones, I find them to be incredibly difficult. Some you'll see I can just annihilate first place no problem and then some other races depending on the type and how I find the handling I'll I'll get last place I either get first or last I usually don't really have an in between it's very frustrating because no two rides feel the same so if you get used to how one thing feels. And then you get on something else and it feels completely different. Ah, oh, seriously? It's like I can't even... Oh. Well, yeah. Very awkward and... Little thing like that is enough. I'm surprised I'm not in 7th place. So it's the muscle memory. That's the word I wanted to use. Are you fucking serious? That I'm assuming I'll eventually get used to. Like, this feels like nothing else I've ever played. In the game. So that whole feel of it is just very awkward. I don't know where I'm going half the time, so I'm hesitating. Yes, I'm making excuses, but they're valid. Let me just see if I can focus here a bit. Seriously? Fuck right off. I wasn't even trying to jump there. The yellow on the mini-map, it'll tell you where to go next. Sometimes there's no set path. Well, there you go. Can't complain with that. Definitely thought I was going to get 7th. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that blows. Because I don't know how to unlock that vehicle. But the one that you saw me play with this here again. I don't know how to get that. I really, <clears throat> really, really wish I knew how. Because if we go to gear, right? And we go to, let's say, funkies. Uh, that's just for rocket wings, though. But in general, there's just, there's just so much more stuff, right? Like, even if I go to bicycles. And then... I go over to gear. Yeah, see? Like, all these here. These are part of the funkies that you get the 11 out of 11 that I made a video on. But there's obviously more funkies in the game. Not all of them can just be attained through the 11 of 11 there. Like how you see there. You would go to uh, 
<clears throat> these here, and you would just walk up to it, and boom, you'd get a free funky. And there's 11 of those freebies, the other ones you've got to work for, and I just don't know how that works. I just have no... Seriously? Oh yeah, this one? I'm not even going to do it. I mean, I'm doing it, but I'm not. Yeah, see? I already missed a fucking checkpoint. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, effort never dies. When you're ready, wow. come back. We'll try to get it. Yeah, clearly I'm not ready. Ouch. But yeah. As I've said, this is really something that I don't see myself getting bored of anytime soon. I think I'm going to have a lot more fun with a game like this than, let's say, unfortunately, you know, Diablo or Far Cry. You know, games like that. Games that you would think, for me, would have more replay value. And nope. This, this here game. This is it. This is the one. How are you sluggers doing today? And I really do like the fact that the world feels very alive. I just wish there was matchmaking. Maybe they'll add that. I have no idea what their future plans are. But, anyways. Don't want to make this game too long. I wish this guy would shut his pie hole. Fucking annoying. But yeah, this little plane jetpack thing is pretty cool. I can really fly fast all over the map. See how, like, I point down, and then it just, like, the camera just shoots it back up? That could be a little bit distracting when I'm doing some races where you're required to fly. <clears throat> I think the map is 250 square kilometers. Do not quote me on that. But it takes uh, a couple of minutes to to fly across. I forget. Something about five minutes. I don't know if that's like from one side to the next or whatever. But there it is here. The north is where it's all cold and the south is where it's all dry. Go figure. It's like that in most games because they're emphasizing up is north and right. Self-explanatory there. But yeah, I really, really want to know how to get that funky. I just, I don't know how. Now at 130, or at 270 rather, you get a new funky. Can you handle the drum, Drominator bike and its unique experience? You could see by the logo that that's not the bike that I'm talking about. Maybe it's at 130, I don't know. I'll probably Google it. Uh, to try and figure out what that is. So anything with new on it is something I haven't done yet. All the ones with a gold star means that I've done them. You could quickly see how well or poor you've done. And then the exclamation marks. Oy, 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 those are rough. They're stunts. They're just they're incredibly rough. Anyhow, I'm going to keep this video nice and short. I think I'm going to end it here. I just kind of wanted to give a brief intro look at the game. Let you know what I think of it. That I'm glad I got it, even though I'm still bitching and moaning and complaining about the Zen mode. I think it'll get better. I can't wait to see what's in store for this game for the future. Because for a day one game, at least in my experience, we're absolutely off to one of the smoothest starts, especially for a live service game, like I said earlier. At least I think I said that earlier. So there you have it. If you like the video, you know the drill. A thumbs up greatly helps support the channel. A thumbs down will help support a broken thumb off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Mm -hmm. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.